Let us discuss on how to find the antiderivative of a function using the substitution rule. Substitution can be used to perform difficult piece of integration. And we make a substitution for a function whose derivative also occurs in the integrand, which is the function to be integrated. Let's have the first example. The integral of the quantity x plus 3 to the fourth dx. So to find the antiderivative of this given function, we're going to let u be equal to x plus 3. Then find the derivative of u with respect to x. And so we have du equals 1 dx. Because the derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 3, which is constant, is 0. Therefore, we have du equals 1 dx. And we can simply write it as du equals dx. Then substituting u for x plus 3 and du for dx, we have now the integral of u to the 4 du. Then applying the anti-differentiation rule, we have now u raised to 4 plus 1 over 4 plus 1 plus c. Then adding the exponents and the denominators, we have u to the 5th over 5 plus c. Then, we're going to substitute back x plus 3 to u. We have the quantity x plus 3 to the 5th all over 5 plus c. Let's have the second example. The integral of the quantity 3x plus 2 to the 5th dx. So let u equals 3x plus 2. Then find the derivative of u with respect to x. And so we have du equals 3 dx. Because the derivative of 3x is 3 and the derivative of 2 is 0. Then divide both sides by 3. Cancel out 3 in the right member of the equation. We have du over 3 equals dx or dx equals du over 3. Substituting now u for 3x plus 2 and du over 3 for dx, we have now the integral of u to the 5th times du over 3, which is also equal to the integral of u to the 5th times 1 third du. And so we have 1 third times the integral of u to the 5th du. So using the anti-differentiation rule, we have 1 third times u to the 6th over 6 plus c. Multiplying 1 by u to the 6th and multiplying 3 by 6, we have u to the 6th over 18 plus c. Then substitute back 3x plus 2 to u, we have the quantity 3x plus 2 to the 6th all over 18 plus c. Let's have the third example. The integral of 2x times the quantity x squared plus 1 cubed dx. So let u equals 2 x squared plus 1. Then find the derivative of u with respect to x. And so we have du equals 2x dx because the derivative of x squared is 2x and the derivative of 1 is 0. Then divide both sides by 2x. Then we can cancel out 2x in the right member of the equation. Then we have du over 2x equals dx or dx equals du over 2x. Substituting u for x squared plus 1 and substituting du over 2x for dx, we have now the integral of 2x times u cubed times du over 2x. Then cancel out 2x. We have now the integral of u cubed du. 
then using the anti-differentiation rule we have u raised to 3 plus 1 over 3 plus 1 plus c then adding the exponents and the denominators we have u to the fourth over 4 plus c then substitute back x squared plus 1 to u we have the quantity x squared plus 1 raised to the fourth all over 4 plus c let's have number four example the integral of the quantity x to the fifth minus 2 raised to the seventh power times 5x to the fourth dx so let u be equal to x to the fifth minus 2 then find the derivative of u with respect to x and so we have du is equal to 5x to the fourth dx because the derivative of x to the fifth is 5x to the fourth and the derivative of 2 is 0 then Divide both sides by 5x to the fourth. Then cancel out 5x to the fourth in the right member of the equation. And so we have du over 5x to the fourth equals dx. Or dx is equal to du over 5x to the fourth. Substituting u for x to the fifth minus 2. And substituting du over 5x to the fourth for dx we have the integral of u to the seventh times 5x to the fourth times du over 5x to the fourth then we can cancel out 5x to the fourth and so we have the integral of u to the seventh du then applying the anti-differentiation rule we have u raised to 7 plus 1 over 7 plus 1 plus c then adding the exponents and the denominators, we have u to the 8 over 8 plus c. Then substitute back x to the fifth minus 2 to u. We have the quantity x to the fifth minus 2 to the 8th power all over 8 plus c. Let's have this give an example. The integral of the quantity 4x squared plus 4x plus 6 to the 9th power times the quantity 2x plus 1 dx. So we will let u equals to 4x squared plus 4x plus 6. Then find the derivative of u with respect to x. And so we have du equals 8x plus 4 dx. Because the derivative of 4x squared is 8x. And the derivative of 4x is 4. And the derivative of 6 which is constant is 0. Therefore, we have du equals 8x plus 4 dx. Then, divide both sides by 8x plus 4. Then, cancel out 8x plus 4 in the right member of the equation. And so, we have du over 8x plus 4 equals dx substituting u for 4x squared plus 4x plus 6 and substituting du over 8x plus 4 for dx we have the integral of u to the 9th times the quantity 2x plus 1 times du over 8x plus 4 we can now factor 8x plus 4 using a common monomial factor which is 4 and so we have the integral of u to the 9th times the quantity 2x plus 1 times du over 4 times the quantity 2x plus 1. We can now cancel out 2x plus 1. And so we have the integral of u to the 9th times 1 fourth du. Which is equal to 1 fourth times the integral of u to the 9th du. Then applying the anti-differentiation rule, we have 1 fourth times u to the 10th over 10 plus c. Then multiplying 1 by u to the 10th and multiplying 4 by 10, we have u to the 10th over 40 plus c. 
Then substitute back 4x squared plus 4x plus 6 to you. We have the quantity 4x squared plus 4x plus 6 to the 10th all over 40 plus 6.